Hey GearHeads, it's Jeff with Gear Report. Welcome to episode two of Show Us Your AR, where we show off your AR pattern rifles and pistols. Yeah, that's right, it's Joe here from Joyrider TV. You're watching Gear Report. In Show Us Your AR, we feed your AR fix with guns from around the world. Be sure you've subscribed and click the little notification bell so you'll be notified every week when we post new episodes. The purpose of this series is to give you a deeper look into cool ARs than you would get from a few pictures in gun groups on social media. To be featured in Show Us Your AR, we need some basic info, a few landscape photos of your AR. Optionally, send a link to download your landscape-oriented 30 seconds to 1 minute video. You can upload it to the cloud, something like a Google Drive. Just send me the link so I can go grab that video and then incorporate it in the next episode. Also, a sentence or two telling something about your AR, what makes it interesting. If you'd like to be mentioned by name, give me some help in how to pronounce your name so I don't get it wrong. And also tell us where you're from. I don't want your address, okay? I just want the general area or region that you're from so that we can show it off on the map. Like, are you from Germany, from the southeast U.S.? Are you from Texas? Whatever level you're comfortable with. I'm not from the ATF. I don't need your address. Send that info to showusyourar at gearreport.com and I'll put it in a future episode of Show us your AR. Don't be lazy, folks. It only takes a few minutes to email a few pictures and maybe some video. All right, let's head down to Kennesaw, Georgia, and get things rolling with this folding takedown 9mm AR pistol from David at Dyer Armory. David started with a prototype Wolfpack Armory lower receiver, which was custom milled with a skeletonized magwell. The serial number on this lower, 00001. It's topped with a Gibbs Arm side charging upper. The handguard was a 6 inch Rock River M lock with a 5.5 inch Bear Creek Arsenal barrel. Aiming is assisted by a set of Magpul flip up sights. Inside is a new Frontier Armory bolt carrier group 9mm ramp for Glock mags. David chose the SBM4 pistol brace. In the rear is a JP Enterprise silent buffer. David used a Pantheon Arms Dolos detachable barrel kit and a Law Tactical folding stock adapter. David noted that typically the folding stock adapter doesn't work with the JP silent buffer, but he custom machined a hollow bolt extender to replace the one that comes with the Law Tactical folding stock. This allows a rod in the JP Enterprise's silent buffer to pass through the new hollow bolt carrier group extender, and it removes the weight from the BCG to allow the rod to pass through as well. Next let's head a few states north and check in with Russ Jackson in Pennsylvania. Russ builds ARs for veterans and police. Here I'm going to read you some info that Russ sent in about what he does. Russ says, I'm just a veteran trying to help other veterans. It started as wanting to build one for a disabled Navy veteran. I asked on the AR-15 snob free page on Facebook if I could ask for spare parts to do this. Before long this rifle came to be. One of the prerequisites I used I don't want to add to anyone's safe. The main things are being a veteran or police who doesn't have a firearm of their own. Like I said, I'm not adding to someone's fortune. If you'd like to donate parts for a future build, then go check out the AR-15 Snob Free group on Facebook where you can find Russ. Let him know what you'd like to contribute. Here are some of the builds that Russ has completed. The gray and white one went to Sergeant Gunter of the Durham, North Carolina Police Department after he suffered a house fire and lost everything. The blue and gray AR went to a disabled Navy machinist veteran. By the way, that's what Russ did in the Navy too. The all black AR was for a disabled Army veteran. It's chambered in 762 by 39 The camo AR with the blue stripe went to a guy that sold his rifles to fund books and tuition for the police academy. This is a build for a Marine whose brother asked Russ for advice in putting together an AR as a gift. Let's dig a bit deeper into this one. The parts on this AR include Acme Machine, Handguard, Bolt Carrier Group, and Light, Lucid Optics HD7 Red Dot Optic, Palmetto State Armory Strip Lower supplied by Gear Report's own Caleb Brushing, Camo Cerakote by Big Iron Cerakoting, Trigger Guard and Gas Block donated by, I'm going to butcher this, I apologize up front, his name is J. Meadow, Meadow, I don't know, however you pronounce it, you're awesome. Lower parts kit from Tactical Shooter. Custom sling from Sandstorm Custom Rifle Slings. Magazines from Red Barn Armory. Buffer tube kit and flash suppressor from Bill Jones. Dust cover from Luke 
Connerly. Grip from Abraham Lopez. Upper receiver, barrel, and stock were supplied by Russ Jackson. Russ, as a veteran, I gotta say, I love what you're doing, brother. Let me know how Gear Report can be of assistance to you as you do future builds. Folks, I really hope you enjoyed the different ARs that we featured this week in Episode 2. You can go back and check out Episode 1, where we showed off one of our builds here at Gear Report. We'd love to see some more creative and unusual ARs, but you know what? We like all ARs. If you'd like your AR to be featured in Show Us Your AR, just send me an email with landscape-oriented pictures or a link to download video of your AR, and I'll put them here on Show Us Your AR. I hope you've enjoyed checking out this week's ARs from the East Coast. If you've already sent in pictures or videos for Show Us Your AR and you still haven't been featured, don't worry. I'm just working through all those pictures and videos in the order that we received them. You will be featured in a future episode of Show Us Your AR. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range.